Hey, this is Alex. In this video, you're going to find out how to get sales on Upwork and other freelancing websites, which is probably the easiest place to get sales anywhere on the internet right now, if you're looking to get started as a freelancer or even build your own business. So if you can figure out how to do this, then you'll be able to get sales on command and not comply with all the demands that the buyers have, which usually are unreasonable. You'll be able to charge higher amounts of money and build an actual business because you'll be able to make more money from being a freelancer or running a business than any kind of job that you can get or most kinds of jobs that you can get. So how do you get sales on Upwork? So the most important thing that you need to know when trying to get sales on Upwork is, Upwork is skewed in the favor of the buyer. So the people who are offering services on Upwork and people who are selling on Upwork, there's an imbalance there. There's more people looking for jobs than people offering jobs. Now, if you're above average, this is no longer the case. And suddenly you're more in demand than there's supply. So the very first thing you need to know is make yourself less available. So what do I mean by that? So you need to make it so that people come to you and they're asking you to work with them instead of you begging them for a job. So how do you do this? This is done on multiple levels. The first level is your title of your profile and your content on your profile and your profile video. They all need to be highly targeted to the people who are buying. So it needs to talk to them in a personal manner. Most people, they write this super complicated, professional sounding stuff on their profile. And what happens is the buyers are just like, oh, it's just another one of those guys and they don't even read your profile. But if you write to them personally, if you address them personally, as if you're writing to your mother and just talk to them normally and tell them what you can do for them, first of all, what you've done for others, what results you've gotten, and then you talk about what kind of clients you like to work with and then give them a call to action. If you follow this formula, then suddenly your profile looks a lot more appealing and people will come to you and they'll be more eager to work with you than with someone else who's just another cookie cutter person on Upwork. So this extends to the sales calls and any emails and inter email interactions or anything else you're going to do because it needs to be always the frame of you are choosing the clients you work with and they need to apply to work with you. If you can establish that, then you'll be able to actually get sales and charge a lot of money as opposed to the guys who are just like begging for jobs and begging and offering uh, a discount and all that kind of stuff. Those guys will not get the clients. You who is choosing who you work with, even if you're just starting out, you're the one who's gonna get the clients. So the next thing you need to know when selling to clients on Upwork and other freelancing websites is you need to actually understand what it is that they want because usually they do not understand what they want. They do not understand what they need. You need to help them determine exactly what it is that they actually want. Yes, they may be looking for a website, but why are they looking for the website? What are they actually looking to do? Because I'll tell you right now, they're not actually interested in the website. They're not actually interested in the thing that they're telling you that they're looking for. They're looking for something else. You need to find out why they're looking for it. What is the reason behind it? Maybe they're looking to grow their business so they can be with their family more. You need to really deeply understand the person you're talking to ask them a lot of questions. You need to be asking a lot more questions than talking. Listen to them and give them feedback on what they're telling you. A lot of people, they get on a phone call with a potential client from Upwork. And by the way, yes, you need to do phone calls with every single person, not just try to close them via text, obviously. So a lot of people get on a call with them and they just try to push their agenda and do this weird, bushy, used Carmen sales techniques and that does not work. You need to actually listen to the human being and help them determine what they actually need. Give them feedback, give them advice and make them feel like they're getting more value out of just the phone call that they're having with you than the whole thing that they would get from someone else. Because someone else will not do that. Someone else, they have no idea what they're doing. They don't know sales. They don't listen to this YouTube channel and they will fail, 
right? So you need to make it abundantly clear that you're actually listening, you're actually uh, giving them feedback on the information that you're getting and you actually care about what they actually want, not just push your own agenda. And that brings me to the third thing that you need to do to get sales on Upwork and any other freelancing website. So you need to feedback feedback to them what they told you that they want and relate that to your service or product. Say you're selling Facebook ads, they need to feed, give them feedback on what they're looking for and tell them, yes, I understand you're looking to grow your company. So the best thing we found that works for companies such as yours is to do Facebook ads based on all the stuff that they told you, right? So you need to use the information from step number two to close them on what you're actually selling. And of course you can only do that if it actually helps them, if it actually helps them achieve what they wanna achieve. And also use the deeper reasons. So of course you need to use all the deep reasons why they're looking to do that thing in their business. So yes, you can spend more time with your family. Yes, you can travel more. Yes, you can have your business work more in autopilot if you have constant inbound leads coming and so on and so forth. So you need to use all the reasons that they gave you why they're building the business, why they're looking to increase the revenue in their business, whatever it is they're looking for, use all those reasons to relate back to what you're selling so that it feels to them like you're the only one who's selling them what they actually want. That is super, super important. That's how you get premium dollars in Upwork. That's how you can charge four, five, six thousand dollars for projects in Upwork, even though someone says they have a budget of fifty dollars. Don't believe me? I mean, I, I work with hundreds of people, they do this, it works. It actually works, and people pay them thousands of dollars. I can absolutely guarantee you that. So let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I have a sneaky suspicion that you will. And uh, let me know if you wanna, if you have any opinions, just discuss with me in the comments. I usually reply to most of them. If you like this video, please thumbs up on YouTube and share it with your friends on Facebook. And if you like more free daily videos, then please subscribe and I will see you in tomorrow's video.